Hello. I don't know how we're going to go tonight. I'm missing a piece of equipment and we may get an echo, but I'd love to hear if people can let me know if you can hear me okay. So my AirPods have completely disappeared. So I'm going live anyway and we'll just see how we go. Hey, Deb. Hi, nice to see you. Hi, Gina. Hey, Margaret. Nice to see everyone here tonight. Hi, Jean. Okay, how is the echo? Is it all right? I can hear it, but I'm not sure about you guys. You have an echo? Yeah. I need to be wearing my AirPods for that to stop, and they are nowhere to be found. So I do realise I have an echo. I'm sorry. I don't know that there's anything I can do about it. Let me just try a couple of settings and we'll quickly see if I can fix it. Possibly. See if this is any better. Is that better or worse or no different? Can you hear me? That might be a little better. Mm, I don't know. I'll take it off. So. My apologies, guys. I don't know that we can fix it. Check Crumpet's ears. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> He's not here right now. I don't know where they went. Okay. You know what I'm going to do? I'm going to do minimal talking. <laughs> yes, I'm so sorry. I, I'm unable to get rid of the echo. Um. Let me try something. Yeah, the feedback is not great. I'm so sorry, guys. After last week getting it really, really right, this week is not as going, not as smooth. But so long as we don't get cut off, my phone is in do not disturb mode. Let's go over and see what's on my desk. I'm just going to see. I don't know if I can, Anita. You guys are all so helpful. Thank you for helping me with my technical issues. Let me have a quick look. If anyone has any great ideas, I don't know if this is going to help. Okay. No, I think there's still an echo. At least it's, it's the feedback isn't so much the problem. I think it's the echo that's the problem. But, yes, so the sound is turned off completely on my computer and I've only got sound on my, um, my iPhone. And the iPhone is the camera that I use for the desk so that you can see what I'm working on. It is partly because the phone's too close to the computer and it's partly to do with the software that I'm using. But last week we minimised it by, by using AirPods and I was the only one who could hear the echo. Yes, I did. And I've done that again, Cindy. But, oh, okay, maybe this is going to be a short, a short one tonight. All right. So I have a card I want to show you and we're going to play with some celebration stuff. And I hope that the echo is not going to be too, too distracting yes the video is in my private group in my facebook private group the um, vip group and also on on youtube and i with this echo being like this i will probably do a separate video as well just to show the technique you found me there you go <laughs> all right okay all right i'm going to switch over to my desk and hopefully you can see that okay everyone see that okay it's not as bad now good good okay yes i, I put it in um do not disturb Jean. so yes we've got that sorted <laughs> all the things to remember i've got a checklist all right so tonight we're going to play with some celebration stuff by popular request actually 
Um, I made a card last night, this one, that everyone has asked me, could I please do as a video? So it's a very simple card, so easy. And I thought we'd make it together. Okay, so let me show you the stamp set. It's this one. It's called Carmen Camellia, which is kind of funny because let me just turn this down, see if that helps. Can is that any better for anyone? Can you thumping down now? <laughs> oh, thanks, Jenny. Can people still hear me? Can you hear me okay? Maybe that will maybe that's better. Tell me if there's an echo now. Much better. Okay, all right, okay. All right, so this is the Calming Camellia set, all right, um, and it is a bit of a special set. It's at the back because this is one of the host rewards and they always have a host reward during celebration, which is usually a specialty set of some kind, and this is the one this time. Um, and so to get this set, you can. there's several ways that you can get it. Yay, I'm glad it's better. We sorted it out. <laughs> um, so... To get the set, you either need to host a workshop and the workshop comes to, in Australia, it's different in other markets, but in Australia, a $500 workshop and then you would get this for free on an, in addition to your other hostess perks, okay? But that's not the only way you can get it. Um, you can also get it by putting in an order of that size or if there's a few of you, you've got a couple of friends and you, you particularly want the set, you could bundle a couple of orders together. I actually have a second one of these coming because that's, as a demonstrator, if I've got several orders, I put them all together and then I get the set. So that's kind of cool that we get to do that. Hooray! <laughs> no more echoes. Oh, my goodness. All right. So... Um, in this case, you're either putting in a $500 order, you're putting together a group of orders, you're hosting a workshop. There's a number of ways that you can get this one. It's a beautiful set. I do have to say, though, it's called Calming Camellia, and I don't know that these really look like camellias to me. They don't really, but they're still really pretty. So this is the card that I made last night, and it, I made it before I went to bed, and then this morning I got up, <laughs> and it was all these comments and all these people had hit the love button overnight and it was really nice to wake up to. So that was a nice way to start the day. Um, and a few people have asked me, could I show them how to do it? Well, yes, I can. It's very, very simple. And it is another white ink technique. Okay. Now I love white ink. It's a thing for me. I just, I, it's one of my favorite things to use. Um, and I think everybody should have white ink. This is the craft white ink. This is actually an old pad, the old style pad, but they're the same. You can buy a new one. Um, so what you need to know about the Whisper White craft pad is that this is not the same kind of ink as your regular classic inks, okay? A classic ink, just say, so let's grab one, okay? Classic ink here. Um, this is water-based whereas this is a pigment-based ink. So it's a totally different animal, okay? They're nothing alike. And it, it um, stamps very differently. It takes a longer time to dry, whereas your classic inks dry almost immediately. Your pigment inks don't. And you can do things with them that you can't do with classic inks. For example, you can emboss with pigment inks because they say wet and sticky for long enough that your embossing powder is going to stick on there. So, um, so yeah, it's a totally different type of ink. Now, the way the ink pads come now is different. They actually come, when you buy one of these pads, they come uninked with a reinker. And the reason why is that we had a lot of trouble with these leaking in the post, okay? So they would go out fully, fully um, full of ink and then when they got to the destination, they would have leaked at the other end. And that was a, quite a big problem. We had a lot of them go back. Um, the vanilla that we used to have, that did the same. Um, so instead what they did was they got... Um, they they started sending them out uninked and then you put your own ink in to stop that leaking problem. Yes, it is beautiful, Judy. It really is. And and I'm just I just love it so much. Anyway, this particular ink technique, um, I'm just painting white ink in this case with a blender pen. 
Um, but there are so many different things you can do with white ink. I mean, we've done, I've got other videos on YouTube that you can look up if you like in my like most popular video or technique videos, like the whitewashing technique where you apply your white ink with a, a, a water painter or a 3D or shadow stamping with white ink or 3D masking. I did that one just a couple of weeks ago where you actually use a mask and then move the mask slightly and apply white ink over the top. So there are so many things you can do with white ink. Super, super useful. Okay. Oh, that's not good, Jenny. I hope you've got cars undercover. That would be bad. Or, yeah, I'm, I just hope that everything's safe where you are. All right, so what I'm going to be doing tonight is using the white ink. Now, for this technique to work and turn out really, really nice, you need a medium-coloured cardstock. Okay, so in this case, I've used crumb cake. All right, that's what this one is. I've actually done some other colors to show you tonight as well, but I wanted to, the crumb cake's the one I did last night, and that's the one I'll show you now. I stamped on the crumb cake with Knight of Navy ink. Okay, so I'm just going to fold a piece of crumb cake, half a sheet of cardstock, and fold it in half again to make our card base. All right, and we're going to go ahead, I've already got it on the block here, we're going to go ahead and just stamp, stamp with this. Now, I used Knight of Navy ink, but you could use another colour. Another colour that would look really nice on the crumb cake is Blackberry Bliss. That would look really good as well. Um, but Knight of Navy is what I've used today. And the reason why the colour is important, I don't know if you can see, but you might be able to see, even though we've got white ink on here, when you use the white ink with whatever colour ink you stamped your image, you do get a little bit of that colour feeding back into the white. So you might be able to see, especially up around the top here, that these flowers have got a blue tinge, and that's because of the Knight of Navy ink that the images were stamped on. Okay, does that make sense? So, well, that's not good, Jenny. I hope they're all right, your, your um, pussycats and so forth. I hope they're good. All right, so I'm going to stamp this. We'll start start by shall we okay do people want to do let's start with a choice because i know you guys love making decisions and choices will we do blackberry bliss on the crumb cake or will we do night of navy because you can go either way either is good first person to comment is the one that we're going to do blackberry bliss or night of navy anybody There's a little bit of a delay from when I asked the question to, to when Blackberry or oh, Jenny was first. Jenny said Navy, so we're going Navy. All right, so there we go. First in, fast fingers. <laughs> and then everybody else is saying Blackberry. Well, we'll just have to do Blackberry next time because Jenny was first. All right, so I'm inking this up. It's a beautiful stamp and it's a rubber stamp so you get a nice solid image. I'm just going to stamp up here from the corner. When you're using a stamp like this, um, my suggestion to you, if you're, um, this is something that seems to trip a lot of people up. I mean, you can use these, you can use the Stamparatus if you want to make sure you get your um, image really crisp, but just be careful, don't rock your stamp. So when you do your basic stamping, just go straight up, straight down. So pushing it straight down and then pull it straight up, okay? Don't rock the stamp because that's when you get over stamping, okay? With that plus pushing too hard in your ink pad. So just a little tip from me. I'm just going to come in here at the side. So basically I'm just filling in, and that's probably enough actually. I've got a smaller, so see this little leaf here? Smaller one, I'm going to use that. It's a nice stamp, isn't it? I mean, even, even without... Um, any white ink or anything else it's beautiful just as it is just going to put that there that's probably enough maybe just a tiny bit up here at the top there we go just like that all right let's close this up right. so it looks nice already but what we need to do is use a blender pen and i've got i've got a couple of blender pens sitting around the desk I like to keep one specifically for white ink. Um, I find that it's always helpful. Blender pens come in packs of three. They've been around forever. I got blender pens in my original starter kit back in 2006. That's how long these things have been around. All right. And you know if, um, you know if it's um, 
okay if you actually you can see i've been using white on this one but when you um if they dry out you will be dry when you run it on the back of your hand if you if you feel if it feels kind of cold or cool when you rub it on the back of your hand there's still enough glycerin in it to do what it needs to do to pick up the ink that you want it to but you can do a lot of coloring with these these are great if you don't have blends or um markers for coloring or watercolor pencils or any of that stuff these are a good way of getting into coloring and you can pick up the ink from any ink pad okay now in the case of the white ink i can pick it up a few different ways i can either squeeze the pad together and get some white ink here on the inside of the lid or i can actually go into the corner the the color tends to pull um, the ink tends to pull around the corners more. So that's where you'll get your strongest concentration of ink. Um, the other thing you can do, and I do like this way, is get a small block and, and just pop the block into the ink pad and then you've got some white ink on there that you can just pick that up. Okay, so all right. So when we start to colour, it's very, very simple. You don't need to be very precious. You don't need to be very careful. But what I do suggest that you do is that you try and stay away from the actual lines. So, like, I try and stay inside the lines, but I don't, I leave, like, um, how would we say? We leave the outline so it's showing. And I'm just sort of pushing it into the paper. But as you can see, I'm not being particularly careful. And it just literally, literally, um, you push the color around basically. And that is as simple as that. So when I come up and do the next petal, I'm trying to stay away from the joining um, outline so that the outline sort of still is there in between the white leaves. It's quite therapeutic, this. This is actually very, very simple to do. How easy is it, right? And you need almost no tools for this. All you need is white ink, blender pen, and whatever ink color you're using. Now, when I when I um, do um, this kind of a, and I'm just staying away from the centers. Can you see that we're getting a bit of blue coming up through the white? So it's not just it's not just white. It's we're getting the color of the ink coming through as well. So I find that um, I get quite mesmerised when I do this sometimes and it's hard for me to remember to keep talking because <laughs> I get distracted. Now, I didn't colour in any of the leaves. You could if you wanted to, but I didn't. So I just thought it was nice just to focus on the flowers. It's so, so simple. And it looks really amazing even though um, it really isn't that amazing. <laughs> I did, um, I'm going to show you some different colour ways you can do with this in a minute. Simple, huh? <laughs> so as I'm colouring, I'm just staying away from the, the outside lines. I'm just... And you may find you want to go back and add more white in some places. For example, you know, maybe around the edges, the outside of the petals. But it's very, very pretty. It's very soft. And I think that's what's nice about it is the soft look. So the secret to getting this really, really a good effect for this, I think, is to you always use a darker ink than the one that for your image than the one that you than the cardstock that you started with so I'm using in this case I'm using Night of Navy but what is a really good combination that always looks good is to go with a deeper tone or a darker tone of the same color cardstock that you have so for example and I'll show you one in a second if you go with um, Misty Moonlight cardstock which is a medium kind of denim blue but you stamp on it with Night of Navy, which is a, a good tonal, um, it works very well tonally with those two colours, but the Night of Navy is quite a bit darker, and then you get the best effect of your, um, your white ink colouring when you have that darker colour ink. All right, so we could go back and add more white if we wanted to, but we don't need to. I mean, it really is that easy. 
Okay, so just say I decide I like that. I mean, it didn't even take very long to do this, did it? And I've got this one here that says I love being your friend. I think it's a really nice little stamp. Let's pop it on a block. And I'm going to use navy again. And just a piece of white. Just got a scrap here. Now for this I actually used um, one of my punches. This is one of my favourite punches. But sometimes I like to use this punch up the other way. This is the everyday label punch. And sometimes it's nice to go from, it's going to make sure that it's straight. And I wanted to have the words down towards the bottom because what I did was, I don't know if you can see, I put some little diamantes up the top, which kind of looks cute. And we do love, we love a good punch. Now this is white. You could also use vanilla because, you know, crumb cake being crumb cake, you could easily use a different colour. I'm just deciding. And this is my crumb cake. Crumb cake ink. Just going to zip around the outside of this with my sponge dauber. Okay. And then we'll pop a couple of dimensionals behind that. Just like that now I will go ahead and finish this but I just used some of the champagne rhinestones on the back here and a little bit of the seam binding ribbon because that really soft um, beautiful seam binding ribbon it, 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 the softness of that goes really nice with, with the flowers isn't that nice oh thank you very much <laughs> that's very nice to stay but really really simple so did you want to see it in some other colors and see how easy it is to do I bet you didn't think it would be that easy, right? But it is super, super duper easy. It's a, it's a really good look. All right, so here's a, here's a few other colours. Um, so here it is in, I mentioned before, in Misty Moonlight and Night of Navy. So Night of Navy is the stamp and it's on a Misty Moonlight background. So that looks really nice. Totally different, right, from this. And then I did one in just to just to do a few different ones. This is soft succulent with um, evening evergreen, and that looks kind of nice. And like when you do the white on the flowers, they almost look three D. They almost look like they're jumping off the page, which I love. And then this one is uh, floaty flamingo with melon mambo, something a little different. And I did one last one just for fun. This is Highland heather with go gorgeous grape. So now, of course, the question is, do you have a favourite? Which one do you like the best? Let me clean up these stamps. You like the soft succulent. Yeah, they're all different, aren't they? Totally, totally different. I love that. I've got a whole bunch of card bases here that I could use for different things, which is kind of cool. Let's pop this away. So, yeah, so this is the stamp set. It's called Calming Camellia. It is a celebration offering um, for orders here in Australia of $500 or more. Um, you can get it as a demonstrator. You can get it if you're putting through like a group, of, a group of orders or you can get it if you're having a workshop and putting through a group of orders or if anyone has a big order going through. Um, yeah, that's how you get that one. But it is beautiful. Thank you. I'm glad you like them. <laughs> very, very easy. I'll have to pop this on my blog tomorrow so that um, I might edit out the echoes at the start. That would be a good idea, wouldn't it? Yeah, that's what I'll do. 
and pop it up on my blog. Right, let's just clean this look. All right. And then I thought we might do a little bit, seeing as we're doing celebration tonight, let's do a little bit more of that. Ah, yes. Well, I think you can pick any medium colour. I mean, I think I was thinking maybe um, what would be interesting might be bumblebee, but maybe um, soft suede stamped on bumblebee. That might be interesting. I'm not sure. You could add some bees to that and that might be lovely. Hi, Donna. <laughs> That's nice. Yes, I'm, uh, I've got a lot to do tonight. I've, it's just one of those days. It's... Um, some days are like that. So let me tell you about the celebration stuff. Okay, so what's happened at the moment is we're having some shipping delays, like everyone is having shipping delays. I don't know about you guys, but my supermarket shelves are almost empty right now. <laughs> it's nuts. Um, and celebration um, has also been affected a little bit. Um, thankfully, we do have some things that are available. So let me show you. I'm not going to talk about what's not available. I'm going to talk about what is. The Sunshine and Rainbows paper has just come in, so I've ordered it. Um, it's on its way, and you'll see me using this because I want to use it with the Rainbows of Happiness bundle because it's just so pretty. And I love the fact that, see these clouds? They punch out with the cloud punch. Really can't wait to get my hands on those. So I'm looking forward to playing with this as soon as it comes. It's on its way. Um, we also have the Marvelous paper, which is beautiful. I don't know if everyone's seen that. I've been showing it off quite a lot. On one side, you've got kind of does look a bit like marble in all these you know, great colours. There's somewhere in here, there's a, all this grey in there as well. So beautiful, beautiful colours. And on the back, it's kind of like a um, more of a stylized marble. It reminds me of the shaving cream technique. Anyone remember that? I think that's beautiful. So anyway, that's um, that's available. That's a 6x6 six six paper and there's 48 sheets in a pack. Okay, and let me have a look at this one. This is 6x6 six six as well and 48 sheets in this one too. So good value. 48 sheets is a lot. We also have the orders. These are these are available. I love what they did here. See when they, they use the picture this dies to cut all the little circles. Um, in that beautiful marble paper and then pop the otters inside so it looks like they're popping their heads out of those little holes. I think that's really, really cute. Love it. We also have this set here called Friendly Hello. I'm going to use this in a minute, so we'll come back to this one. And the last thing that's in here is the Special Moments set. Now, most of these sets, okay, um, are, they're all, sorry, not most, but they are all a gift with purchase, okay? So the Special Moments, which is a 21 sentiment set, and the Friendly Hello, which is DSP and stamp set as a bundle, these are what we call a higher value um, gift with purchase. So, for example, if you spend $180, then you could pick up one of these for free, okay? The other items, the Marbles Paper and the Otters and the Rainbows, those are for a $90 spend. So if you're ordering a bundle that comes in around $90, you'd be able to get one of these for free, okay? So these are available now and you can jump on in and grab them anytime. If anyone needs a hand, um, I'll put all the details for my online store in the description below when I'm done. You love the otters, Jenny. That's nice. <laughs> they've been they've been quite popular, and um, and they're a lot of fun. I mean, I do like that we have fun sets like that. So there we go. Let me just straighten this up. I notice I'm a little bit crooked. There we go. All right. So I've got this beautiful paper, and this is from the Friendly Hello set, and. Here is the matching stamp set. Haven't even decided what I'm going to do with it yet, but I, you're going to help me. So tonight we're going to do a little collaborative um, second project. Okay, let's look at the paper first. The paper is really beautiful. Oh, I've also got this gorgeous sparkly. This is called the Supple Glimmer Paper or Shimmer Paper. Beautiful, gorgeous, gorgeous, gorgeous. It's in the um, in the mini. And where is it? Because it's right up the back here. Um, in the catalogue on page 87, and it's also on page 67. That might be clearer to see it there. Yeah, here it is here. Now, see it says pink and blue. It's a lie, okay, not true. Because it's pink, that is correct. This is like a blushing bright kind of colour. But this colour here, this blue, this is not this, 
okay can you see that is very very different instead i think it's nicer it's an iridescent pool party okay so it's got like um beautiful blues and greens and lots of if you look closely when you turn it in the light lots of other colors just really really pretty it's iridescent pool party not the blue that it's shown in the catalog so that's important to know i don't know how they messed that up but anyway i think it's really nice it's nicer in real life than i was expecting so i was very happy when it turned up and it was even more beautiful all right so just to to um let you guys know about that okay so many things in here I haven't even played with yet. I'm very excited about everything because it's so beautiful. So many nice things. Always the way with the catalog. Um, I had this conversation with um, with a lovely lady this morning. Quite often you look at a new catalog and you go, oh, no, there's nothing there I like. And then you start to see what people do with it. You start to see demonstrators using the different things and coming up with these amazing projects. And then you go, oh, now I get it yes i actually do like these things and who's been guilty of that right doesn't doesn't everyone hasn't everyone been in the situation where you've um you've seen something not being particularly fast and then you see it done with an amazing i don't know just amazing so so the colors in here are really lovely lovely and fresh this is granny apple green and you can see there's some beautiful stripes on the background so so as always it's double-sided this is pool party see doesn't this beautiful shimmery stuff look nice with this pool party looks really good really really good <laughs> and then we've got i think this is pale papaya i probably should have double checked that but i'm almost certain that's what that is and then on the back here we have fresh freesia okay so we've got some in colors in here as well as um some brights and so forth and subtles there's more of that one the black and the the black and the pool party is gorgeous love that with little birdies and little flowers and on the back we've got more green isn't it nice yes cindy me too all the time if i think i don't like something and then i see what somebody does with it i mean already there's a bunch of sets in here that i wasn't going to get and i've seen what people have done i've gone oh i've got to have that <laughs> god it goes through it um, for example, I saw Julie Kettlewell use those um, cactus stamps and punch. I wasn't going to get them. Wasn't going to get them and then I saw Julie use them and went, oh, no, I have to have those now. Okay, more pale papaya here. Beautiful. And then the fresh freesia with the black flowers on it. Very pretty. This is really – actually, this actually this looks like petal pink to me maybe it's petal pink let's have a little look it usually tells us on the back here yeah it is it's petal pink not pale papaya so ignore me it's petal pink when i saw it you know in a bigger sheet like that it was more obvious that that's what it was and these are like little dots on the back here <laughs> yeah i know jenny that's kind of my job that's what i'm meant to do that's, that's how it works. And I take great pride in being able to convert people to something that they, in fact, if someone tells me they don't like something, look out because it's like a challenge. If they say, oh, I don't like such and such a set, it's almost like it's, I'm compelled to find a way to make you like it. I just can't help it. <laughs> it's just, that's just how it works. So what colour are we going to go with tonight? So there you go. <laughs> Shall we go pool party? Shall we go petal pink? Shall we go fresh freesia? What colours, guys? What about the black with the black and the and the pool party is nice. Does anyone have a preference or are we just gonna go any mini money mo? <laughs> petal pink says Margaret. Okay, let's do it now we've got a couple of choices we've got petal pink and black or we've just got plain petal pink they're both nice hmm i'm thinking maybe the black for a bit more um well margaret was in first with the petal pink so we're gonna go with that even though i know lots of other people are popping their hands up now and i'm thinking i have a piece of white so let's start there I'm going to start with a piece of whisper. No, sorry. Basic white. 
and I can't stop saying whisper white, but it's been too many years. But it's basic white now. This is the thick to make a fabulous with the black. Okay, all right, we're going with the black. So this is the colour that we've chosen. And let's just see where we end up. And because it's got the black in it, I think it would be nice to add some black. Let me see what I can do here. All right, let's grab. And I'm going to start with. Just see how this goes. I can always cut this down a little shorter if I need to. So I'm going 12 and a half long. Let's see, that's not bad. Or maybe a little long. I'm going to make it 12. I'm just looking at my fingernails and realizing that I should have. I should have painted them before I did this, but I wasn't thinking about that at all. Yep, that's about right. All right, so if this is 12, so what I always do when I want to do an inside layer is I just make it half a centimeter smaller. So this is seven and a half by 12, which means this, this layer has to be seven by 11 and a half. So let's do that. So how was everyone's weekend? Anyone do anything fun? Let's see how this is looking. Now, next question, guys. First person in, are we going to go landscape or are we going to go portrait? What do you think? The awesome thing about pattern paper is that It can lead you in a direction and you don't need to do a lot of work you know it just it's a great inspiration and sometimes I just use the colors in it to inspire me as well uh, first person was Anita portrait okay portrait it is so just like that I think now this is actually very pretty I, might, I may even throw in some sparkle because I can, you know. <laughs> I've also got, oh, leftover from another project. I've got a bit of gold. Now, this is with the bow punch. Has everyone met the bow punch yet? This is the bow punch. Love the bow punch. It's beautiful. It cuts two beautiful little, two different size little um, branches and it's great for popping underneath things or doing all kinds of stuff actually. All right, so I've got myself a piece of petal pink and I'm thinking that we might do a circle with this. So we have some new dies called the Beautiful Shapes dies. Oh, that sounds like a good weekend. <laughs> crafting, crafting, crafting and more crafting. That's my idea of a pretty great weekend. All right, so I'm going to cut this. This is from the Beautiful Shapes dies. This is, these are new. Okay, they have circles, hexagons, blobs. All sorts of fun things okay and you can do lots with it well I'm using the largest circle and what's nice about this larger circle and if you can see but it's got like an embossed section here in the middle really really pretty so let's run that through our machine and bring that in I've got my big machine out tonight so um, hopefully you'll be able to see it okay usually I use the little one because it's easier to see on the table just run that through okay oh something else
else I was going to do tonight, but I forgot about it, was I was going to pull out these um, these fabulous, maybe I'll do these on Sunday night if anyone's interested. These are new, um, what are they called? Let me tell you exactly what they're called. They're made, they're 3D embossing folders. They're made to go through either the mini or the big machine. They'll go through either and they're called stripes and splatters. And I love them both because the stripes are kind of, um, messy stripes which I really really like I don't know if you can see them very well there but can you see they're not straight stripes they're kind of messy and these the splatters well you know splatters are calling my name these are fantastic and we can do a nice watery look with these so if you're around on Sunday night to watch uh, my next live then let's let's do that all right so I'm thinking this is going to go right about here so let's go ahead and, and attach this and because it's black, I'm going to use black dimensionals. Does everyone know we have black dimensionals? Black dimensionals are awesome. And I'll show you why they're awesome. Okay, so I'm putting my dimensionals on. And when I take off the backs, where did they go? How good are these? You can't even see them almost. Love, love, love them. Really great for when you're working with dark colors. Love that. All right. Now, the only sad thing about this is because I've got my flowers here, I'm going to actually lose them, but that's okay. That's just the way it goes. Let's bring in our stamp set. And I'm thinking I'm going to use my birdie. I like him. He's very pretty. That's this one here, this, this stamp. Embossing folders on Sunday? Okay, Margaret, I can do that for you. No worries. Ah, that's good, Sue. Thank you. Nice to see you. All right. So I've got a piece of just good old basic white here, and I'm going to stamp it in black. Um, I don't always use black because... I'm just using Memento um, because I find it quite harsh. But we've got black in this card anyway, so we're going to get away with it. I just realized I've got a little a couple of blings on the back of my Memento ink pad. They get everywhere, those things. Not as bad as um, dimensional backs, but still, I end up with bling all over the house. <laughs> I'm using a mat underneath because it is a photopolymer set. Okay. Very pretty. Isn't that nice? And yes, I'm going to do something that, you know, some people would never dare do. I'm going to cut it out. Um, now, normally I would colour first and then cut, but just in case I mess up the cutting, <laughs> I'm not trusting myself tonight. So I'm actually going to, I'm actually going to um, cut first and then I'll colour after. Let me just do this. So while I'm cutting, Let's talk. Let's have a have a chat. Has anyone got any questions? Anybody want to ask anything? Have I missed any questions? Because unfortunately I haven't been watching, because I've been so busy colouring and so forth, I haven't been watching the screen as much as I should. So I wish they would do something the same with the white ones. I'm sorry. I think I missed your comment there, Anita. Can you explain what you mean? Sorry. All right, so something I do want to tell you guys is that right now, um, not only do we have some really fantastic um, uh, gifts with purchase and all that kind of stuff, we've also got an amazing joining deal right now. Okay, now I need to tell you about this because there is nothing better that I can offer you than the demonstrator kit. Now I know it's not what everybody wants and, you know, I, I know a lot of people watching are already demonstrators, so I get that. But if you're not, and if you've thought about it and wondering when is a good time, this is a good time, okay? Right now, they're doing the demonstrator kit for the normal price, which is $169. But for that $169, you not only get the regular $235 worth of products and free postage, but you also get two additional free stamp sets of your choice. So it's a really, really good deal, okay? Um... And I honestly believe that it is the best deal that we have on offer. 
Um, and I would love to help you maximize your value with Stampin' Up by taking that deal up. If that's something that sounds like an amazing thing that you'd love to be part of. Um, the other thing is, and I don't do this all the time, but right now we have a team retreat coming up and registrations for that retreat close this weekend. Um, and it's for demonstrators in my team only. So, you know, if you are wanting to attend that, you could attend it. Um, it's not a it's not a free event, but if you would like more information about it, then uh, get in touch. Send me shoot me a message, and I'll let you know what's happening because it's only for demonstrators, and it's uh, something that we're doing right now. So, so there we go. Has anyone ever got any questions about it? Just ask. Okay, it's never a problem. I don't mind answering questions. It's it's just something i've been do, doing this a long long time now guys and you know people have come and gone and come and gone and come and gone <laughs> sometimes there's a bit of a revolving door but you know the best deal that people can always get is the kit it's the best deal we have there's nothing else as good as that and you get an ongoing discount after that and all sorts of stuff so yeah lots and lots of things to be aware of so just reach out if that's something you'd like to talk to me about our little birdie is coming together here. When I cut out, um, I use the middle part of my scissors, not the end, because you'll get a, a smoother line. And not only that, but if you move your paper more than you move your scissors, you also get a smoother line. So let's have a look here. We're nearly done. There are two things that make my customers go quiet. One is colouring and the other is cutting. And we've done both today. You'd think, you'd think there'd be nothing left to say, really. Here we go. So we've got a little birdie here. And he's going to end up here. Now, how do I want to colour my birdie? We could do blends. We could do watercolour pencils. I'm actually thinking about going super, 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 duper simple um, and doing something a little different. Let me just see if I can. I've got pale papaya and calypso coral. And we also have the petal pink. Maybe I should start with the petal pink. The glimmer paper, it just says in the book that it's pink and blue, Megan, but um, it's not It's not blue. It's iridescent pool party, that lighter colour. So I'm just going to sponge the colour onto my little birdies. And the reason I'm doing that is because I want a really soft look. I don't want it to be very precise. It's quick and easy to do this. Um, I'm just deciding. Maybe what colour shall we have? Would bumblebee go or should we pick a different colour? Maybe the fuchsia or the freesia maybe for the flowers. What do we think? What colour flowers should we have? Um, hmm, lots of choices. That is always the problem, right? <laughs> That's okay. Yeah, the pastels were, would be another option. That's true. Yep, I'll do the embossing folders on Sunday night. And, all right, well... I want to add a little bit more um, colour. So I need some crumb cake. It's quite nice, isn't it? Just nice little sort of soft colouring just with this with the sponge daubers it's very easy to do okay no one has said but I'm leaning towards um I'm leaning towards the um fresh freesia 
I think that might be the go. I think it would be a good colour choice. Sponge dauber. Let's go. Once again, just going for a really soft look. Pool party flowers would have looked nice. Yeah, they would. I didn't think of that. Oh well, too late now. <laughs> but. I'm going to add a couple of dimensionals behind here. And you know, because you can never have enough dimensionals, we add more. I go a little bit dimensional crazy. <laughs> All right. All right, so we need um, a sentiment. It's coming together. Oh, the other thing I think that would look really nice is if we have some bling in the middle of our flowers. So I've got some, hmm. We could do um, iridescent rhinestones. Iridescent rhinestones, I think, are my new favorite bling. They are absolutely beautiful. Oh, hi, Sharon. I have been to Nanaimo. That's a very beautiful place. I know where it is. <laughs> That's okay. I was there many years ago. In about 1993, I travelled across Canada with a girlfriend and we started out in BC and um, started in Vancouver and then went across to Vancouver Island and spent some time. I love the Pacific Northwest. Just love it. It's so beautiful. And then... Um, iridescent you say Anita okay because the other option was to throw in some of the jewels which would also be nice but I think you're right I think maybe the iridescent iridescent um, gems would be really nice love these these are so beautiful they really they really like have lots and lots of different colors in them just beautiful all right so Let's have a look here. This says, hope you have hope you have the best birthday. So let's do that. That sounds like a good little sentiment. And let's pop this on here. I'm going to do it in black because there's enough black in this. It's not going to look wrong. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to pop this right down the bottom so that the best birthday is in line with the edge of the paper. This is just how I like to, to do this. And I'm going to guess this is going to be about three quarters of an inch, but let's have a little look. So if I put it at the three quarters mark, yes, that's going to be perfect. And then what we're going to do is we're going to use the pick a banner punch which is one of my favorite punches some of you have probably seen me use this ad nauseum but this is too wide okay way too wide so I want to take off a little bit on either side And then I'm going to pop this in here. Whoops, got to open it. And switch this around. Just like this. That's looking really nice. Um, but I am going to get my um, petal pink ink. And use 
oh, wrong wrong dauber. Where's the petal pink dauber? Petal pink dauber I also use for crumb cake, so it <laughs> it might be a little bit brownish, but that's okay. And we're just going to zip around the outside here. Aren't these colours nice? I just think it's such a pretty little set. Now this one is free with a $180 order. So if it's something that you're thinking you like the look of and you've got an order going in, this is something that you can get right now. This one, you don't have to wait for it. It's already available. Now if we wanted to, we could um, add a bow. It, we, I don't think we need it though, but let's just have a look and see what it looks like. But I don't think it needs it. Right, so like for example, I could if I wanted to have this little bit of... It's kind of pretty. What do you think? A little bit of sparkle, can't hurt, right? Shall we add it? Add it, yes, or do you think no? <laughs> Good night, Sharon. What do you think? Shall we add or not add? Yes or no? Is it too much? I am deciding. Leave as is. All right, so we'll save that for another card and we'll leave it just the way it is. Oh, you add, Michelle. Megan says she doesn't think it needs it. So, okay, we've got some yes, some no, and we're just going to leave it as it is because that was the first answer. So there we go. All right, so there are our cards tonight. We've done two. We did, we did this beautiful card at the start, and then we did this lovely card here, both with celebration sets tonight. So I think, I think that works. Michelle, I will see you tomorrow, I believe, 2 o'clock. And... For everyone else, let me just switch back over to the camera. I love that I can do this. Here I am. Hello. <laughs> I get to say goodnight. Um, if you haven't already subscribed to my YouTube channel, please do that because that way if you're on YouTube and I go live, it sends you a little message to say that I'm live and you can go check it out straight away if you want to. And it's always lovely to watch live um, rather than always watching a replay. Um, the other thing is if you want to be notified, even when you're not on YouTube, you can click the little red bell that says notifications and that will actually send you a message, send you a notification. So, so they're your options. So I hope everyone will do that. I hope that you like uh, playing with these tonight. Don't forget about Celebration. It is fantastic. It goes all of this month and goes until the end of February, the 28th of February. Okay. So if anyone has any questions, reach out, ask and, uh, and let me know. And um, if you have any special requests of what you'd like me to do next time, you can ask me that too. See you soon, guys. Bye-bye.